Hello guys, Son of Beast here. Welcome to the second day of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. As we're about to wrap it up for the first round of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs of the quarterfinals, this is where we come down to the last two teams in the Western Conference. Right now, if you've already watched last night's game, the Wilds beat the Jets of the Canadian team and they advance themselves to the next round to face against the Colorado Avalanche. It's a tough one to be in between Minnesota Valley and Colorado at mile high because this might be the next one that could be turning out to be a hard one as you know it. And on the other side right now, as the Canes are back in, ready for the rematch against the New York Rangers in the second round of the game, where we meet the third seed and the first seed. Well, now they're not the second seed anymore, now they're, now they're the third seed. Because this one is turning out to be very that eye on the tough breakable chain of the score. For this momentum, we don't keep it from here because everybody knows that this is what everyone does, that's all everyone's game. And now, this all comes down to the first game as do or die for the Kraken or the Knights until they meet again next season. Well, let's find out how well they do. And now, sending you on the commentary will be OJ and Paintbrush and Center Ice is Test 2. I'll be back with the post game show after the third period of the game. Now, let's get going. On to Vegas. Enjoy the first game of Game 7, folks, for the second day. Hello everyone, OJ here, and we are back at T-Mobile Arena. This is it, the last game of the season for the Knights and the Kraken. Winner moves on. Opening face-off about to begin in T-Mobile Arena, do or die. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway for the final game in the first round. The courtesy goaltenders are being here as well. We have this Jones for the Seattle Kraken. Then on the other side for the Vegas Golden Knights, we have is John Quick. The one thing I have to talk about John Quick, he was very uh, interesting to play uh, on a goaltender. He talked to one of his head coaches and he did make his only part of a team that he wants to do for him to try to show him off better than Thompson. He's one way at least, the truth he knows. It's the better way to try to make him save the day. But however, it didn't really prove him all of how John Quick does because without Thompson, he knows he wants to make that one felt feel very comfortable and get into the head of the game. This really has to hurt with someone else's opinion. They say, we need Seattle Kraken. We've never seen him coming in. But it was a hard one to take and pay for. John Quick will hold out with the puck save here with only 18.33 to go in the first period. Teams are ready to get this thing right towards the face-off zone. It's still scoreless. Wenberg wins the face-off. That gets blocked up. Good shot. Stop again by John Quick. Marchetso right towards the neutral offense zone. Done with the puck. Fires it across the net. In the line, he has his barbershop. Marchetso right towards the middle. And he's attacking in now to Eichel. Eichel lost the puck and Shore takes it over. Now back to Dunn. Dunn racing towards in the middle. Trying to look for the to both shot. Stop by Quick. Quick was able to do as one of the biggest, safest thing, things of the game. Because they really were showing it how well they could do. Because of that one, if they have to really pay for it off to do this thing again. Now with the win, we have again, Donato's shot! We chuck it up in here and it's stopped made by Quick. Here over to Smith. Smith gets bubbled up here in the, in the neutral face-up. Osaya to Gordy. Carlson's got the puck here. Goes around the net. Now Oliak side has the puck now, taking it over to Gordy. tobin has got the puck here, now back over to Borgia. Borgian on the, on the board. He pisses off to McNabb. 
I'm 80 though. Right over again to Carlson. Recruitment to Pepco's own site. Finds Fortune. Entering his own is Fortune. Peter over it again to Carlson. Vegas are back into the offensive zone to pick up their steam. Now it's like it's got a puck right across here in the offense zone to Denev. In the Vegas territory, the sponge shot that goes up the glove here on John Quick. John Quick was really uh, seeing a, a quicker moment out there. Got a little too quick target sight. Borgia to Giddy, and he scores! That's his first goal in the playoffs in Game 7, and they have a start with the 1 0 lead over the Knights. Pretty good to have a communication out there because Geeky was able to do one of his fair plays of his offense. He knows he was going to definitely do that because of his own moment. They're saying at Seattle, we want to get into the second round to face against the winning team. It's not how you start, it's how about you finish the game. Because everyone knows they want to see them getting into the franchise history here at a 2K of the best moment of the highlights of the NHL playoff edition. Schwartz right towards the inside. Stop here by John Quick. Rebounded the puck over it again to Soshi. Soshi to Fedor. Grabs it over to Cassell. Now Cassell's in the corner, right in the middle. Double man on it. Soshi takes it over with the puck. Back to Borstraw. Borstraw towards the middle. Double man on it. Stop the pad by John Quick. Stephenson has the puck now, running, running around the wood. To Fedor. Peters brings the stuff it's in. And now he dishes the Cassell. Tries again. Schultz has the puck right now in the Kraken territory to the Vegas territory. Another angle to Wenberg. Booms down. Quick gets a release move with the save. That really has to turn things up because the better man of McNabb, he wants to boom it up. That's what everybody does. They really keep on booing it with a bound bang down, with a clash. The Sea Monster and the Vegas Knight, they really are starting to show him off their pride. Here's Barbashev on the outside, now into the inside of Kraken territory. Larson has the puck taken away. Larson moving around again. Trying to stop the run. Now here's Martinez. Martinez over at back end and Everly gives it to Veneers. Stop the pad save by John Quick. Here's Martin Sol with the puck. Kicks the puck over again to Petrangelo. Martinez with the puck. 11 minutes to go in the first period. Passes to Eichel. Eichel to Martin Sol. Shot stopped by Jones. McCann recruits the puck. In a cracking territory to the Vegas territory. Everly fires it. Martinez, McCann. Right to Everly shot. Stop it, mate. We will scores. Maneers taking it over with a 2 1 0 over the Knights. While the Sea Monsters are really showing it off. They just going to say that we want to crack it up. We want to move it along ahead. It looks like the Seattle Kraken are stepping in for the first time in a franchise history here of the 2K23 moment, I should say, EA Sports. That should have been a better way to take. That's a good idea. That's what we need to fix for. Here's Gordy with the puck. Now back to Tobin. Tobin right towards the wing. Hey, you right with the puck. He kicks it right over to March itself, the White Cloud. Tobin is shot. Stop by Quick. Out in with the puck. Now going over to the Kraken territory. Back to Blue Girl. Going around the side. Stayed made by Jones. He will hold on with the puck here with the quick movement with under nine minutes. They're in passing the midway period. Seattle has been one of the better teams in the franchise history run. And they have a 2 0 lead. He sprunged with the run. 840 left to go in the first period. Fires it across around the net. Now here's Hagu with the puck. Trying to reach over it again to White Cloud and Smith. 
Smith, right towards the wing. Hit it inside. Oh, Asaya takes it back. That's never going to happen because Asaya is getting it over with the puck save. They're just trying to, like, weave it out. We don't want that because this really has to keep on going for a weave to weaver. Right around the goal, excuse me, right around the goaltender. It may not be tough when you're looking at it. Oh, video! Stop A by Jones. Goes down, ready for the faceoff. More than half a period has already been passing the first period. Kraken have a 2 0 lead over the Vegas Knights. Ballet along for the loose puck. Wenberg recovers the puck, blocks it away. Stevenson couldn't get the puck saved as Wenberg takes it back. One and two territory. And Petrangelo takes a steal. Stephenson with the puck. Moving around in it. In the middle, stop by Jones. Jones will hold it here with only 6.32 left to go in the third first period. More time is being played here in the first period. Now they're ready for the faceoff back in the offense wing. Eichel with the win. Martin has to pretend to look. Finds Borchardt's all. Trying to make a smash. Back to Barbashan. Shot to Eichel. One timer stop made by Jones. Or stride over the game. Trying to look for the pass over to Schwartz. Schwartz with the puck. Moving around inside. Club save made by John Quick. Well, hold the release move of under six minutes to go. You know that John Quick was able to do one of his better one timing of a shot ability. He's putting up a glove save on it. Can be turning out like he never does it before. He really wants to stay in focus right now. But the Tigers, they say that this one's a very hard one to try to like put it in bounding. They may not have another way to try to stop him by because they are very that tough. Nobody I know would know if they're going to get that thing right around the net. Borbisha regroups the puck. Went down on the ice. Wenberg's got the puck here. Pass, broken it up. Borstraub with the puck. Trying to reach over with the shot. Stop made by John Quick. He it over to Marchantzall. Pass to McNabb. McNabb in it now. No penalty call on Seattle. Back to Gordy. Gordy around the move. Shot stopped by Jones. Rebound the puck. And he denies it with the shot. John Crick's going to hold on with 4.12 to go in the first period. We all say that Shane Fedor is one of the only better heat seekers in this game. When he fires it with the puck, he can try to leave it out here with an open run. The spring towards advantage is a tough one and take an inbounding to go right from the slot. A round done will be the hard one to try to take him over. I'll be watching those two players here between the Shea Fedor and Dunn. One of them will have to take him over to try to spill it out. Back to you guys. Amerio lost the puck and Morrison has the puck recovered. Reach inside! McNabb takes it over after a save made by Joe. John Quick. Smith with the puck. Trying to look over with the room. Block the shot. Smith recovers the puck. To Almanio! Stop by Jones! Oh, uh, this really has to be a bit tough save for Jones. He's really on a good uh, fast break of a run. Now they're ready to do an hour face off again. The score still 2-0 in the first. Stephenson wins the faceoff. White club shot! And that will not be taken here and it's blocked away. Here's Everly with the puck. Try to keep it out of the range in the motion. Now here's Hagu. The Kraken are in the offense zone. Vegas will have the puck carried out in the offense neutral zone. Borchardt's got the puck right across in the neutral zone. Back pass to Everly. Shot one timer is stopped made by Jones. McCann battling for the loose puck. Along the board, we have his Hagen. Stephenson right near the board. Could be a close call, make a holding. Over to Courier. 
Forge in with the puck, down to the last minute of play in the first period. Here's the dab with the puck. On the right, right side, here's the dab, shot stopped by Quick. 40.1 seconds in the first period, they are just trying to give up the run. They do. The easy, the better one, they have to make that play more successful. They are just going to need that one to keep it right out of the deck. Forge! Get a little slammed up already. Genev. Pass to Kiki. And a good save made by the goaltender. Richangelo. Back over again. To Odin. Odin pass to Bluger. Bluger lost the puck. Rebound it! Fires away! Don't stop save! And that will end the first period. 2 0 no start for Seattle Kraken. We'll get to the second period when we come back. Next. Period number two about to begin. And we are back at T-Mobile Arena. OJ along with Paintbrush, so glad you could join us here. For right now, we have seen one of the better players in this game as we are seeing the Kraken entering the, entering the second round of the first time in the history, franchise history, of the Stanley Cup playoffs. This part of the game on the EA Sports might be turning to be in between the rallies of the group. Let's start off with you, Paintbrush. How did it really turn out? Because Seattle Kraken have gotten an extension with a 2-0 series of the run in the first period. Well, they're very that good, keeping an eyes on our, on our shot. This angle was putting up a very clear. Not to be considering how they were doing this. But all it takes is to keep on uh, like uh, going around the puck and then also with that fast break, beat by quick. I mean, this was very that tough to ever, everyone was really thinking of. They really wanted to make him go down. Now both players are set, ready to take the face off. Score still 2-0. No goal, no goal yet for the Knights. And Larson has the puck. Taking a blocking and over with deflection right to Schwartz. Now Borshai. Out to the outside, right down towards the inside. Schwartz got a little bumped up over here. And he went flipple down. Ah, uh, there's no penalty called here for Vegas. They never really released it. Here's a shot for the other angle. That's kicked away by Jones. Richardo shot. That's the flat game that goes up towards the net. Now they're ready to do another face-off attack. Here's another one for Richangelo. That's kicked the pad saved by Jones. Here's Martinez. Richangelo shot. Stop again by Jones. Rebound is off. Amadio. All slant with the puck now goes to Gordy over again to Donato. Another one coming in for Olasayek. On the outside, battling in a neutral faceoff zone. And a penalty call by Seattle. This one is going to be called on the Slashy on Tolvanen. Well, Tolvanen's in the penalty box. Might have to say, don't be aggressive. Stay maintained. Don't be on a loose string if you're going to try to like, keep it over. The power play coming up for Seattle on the power penalty kill. Now for Vegas Golden Knights. They will have it some time right now to get the lead and cut up by with the shut shutout scores in for their seventh game of the season. His courier right to Arkel. In the Vegas to Kraken territory. Eichel lost the puck and Tenev has it recovered. Fires it across towards the wall. Eichel recovers the puck here. Now over again. Swings to Peter. Now he moves quickly over to Carlson. Over to Eichel. To Carrier. To Cassell. Shot stop by Jones. And Cassell stops again by Jones. Really good play out there. They're noticing that this one really keeps on coming along inside the zone. They never want to get rid of it.
And right now, Larson has the puck. Blocks a shot. Wenberg will try to clear it out. Regrouping the puck for the Vegas we have a sports soul. 30 seconds for the power play for the Vegas Knights. Smith with the puck. Shot stopped by Jones. Oh, that was too quick. And that one puts up right near the goalpost. Now with that one being called in between the two. Jonathan Quick and Martin Jones are top rated goaltenders to play with this part of the league. And they know whenever they played well, they just got to keep on playing and keep practicing and get better. Amadio, back to Smith, shot stopped by Stan, another save by Jones. They're doing a very good job out there. Every team they were doing this because the Krakens are keeping alive with the offense and defense. They're doing a really nice job out there. Volley down, McKay recovers it. Around the goaltender, Richangelo takes it away. Now swing it over again to Amedio. Marches on with the puck. Now he finds Stephenson. To Smith, shot around around it, and stop again by Jones. Amadio right with the puck. Pass to Stephenson. Over again to Marchetel. Into Smith. Oh, the shot. Nowhere to keep it alive. Gordy to Schwartz. Now in the neutral faceoff zone in the offense zone. Wenberg inside. Puck escapes from the zone and will have to clear it out. Osayek to Schultz. Now back to Borshaw. Borshaw gets the pass to Wenberg. Wenberg in the middle. Rebound it again. Stop by Quick. Now Schwartz does it again. It's blocked up in front. What a play for the Vegas Knights. They're really trying to flick it right out of here. This motion seems harmless. But don't be careful for that one if you know it. Stop again by the goaltender. Regangelo over to get to Amadio. Amadio in the roll. In the middle. Sauchi with the save. Trying to keep it to Gigi. Gunshot gets blocked out. Step it in with the puck. Try to reach over again. Shot! Got saved by Jones. Nearing the stretch of the mid-period, it's still a 2-0 game for the for the Kraken. Now they're ready to do this one again. As right now it's only 10.41 to go. Now here's McNabb. Pass it, Fedor. Fedor scores! Pete Sinker has put a complete. They're now in the game. What an excellent play for Shea Fedor. That's a fire rocket bomber. With this one, you can fire it towards the net. And that one puts up a goal. Thanks to McNabb, they are putting it right away. Here's McNabb with the puck, now back to Fyodor. Fyodor lost it, and now Barbashev has it recovered. Over again to Fyodor. Fyodor to Marchesol. Back to Eichel. Eichel in there! Don't stop save. Hold him up under and passes the mid-period in a second. Officials are getting ready to get set, they're about to drop the puck. Now with an R win, Seattle has it across to Schultz. Looks to Tominen. Tominen racing towards the blue line in the offense zone. Tominen shot stop again by Quick. Tominen battling with a loose puck. McNabb grabs the puck. Still has it over to Barbashad. Now Marchetel has the puck. Gives it past to Fyodor. Over to Eichel. Shot stop the bad save here by Jones. They really seemingly are wanting to get this thing done. They don't have the right encouragement to do this one again. They can't be losing it. That's what everybody does. A lot of great saves for Jones. They wanted to keep it out. Another face-off coming up here, ready for the Golden Knights and the Kraken. Right now with 839 to go in that second period. Barbashev wins it. Richangelo, it's stopped by Dunn. Here's Dunn in the corner. 
Looking to Gordy. Shot stopped by Quick. Holds it from the back. And we get the face off ready to be an action play. Now with the win, here's Martinez. Over to Petrangelo. Petrangelo, the blue girl. Colasar right towards the corner in the, in the neutral faceoff zone. Now pass to Martinez. Shot! Stop by Jones. Throwing it in right towards the other way. Trying to make a pass off the glove and it went right toward the wall. On a fast break move. With a shot! Stop by Jones! Oh, let's see Monster King can be it! The only way that you can tell for Jones is how good is he? They really are expecting him that they want to do it for more. Now here's Larson. Done with the puck now with seven minutes to go in the second period. McCann in the corner. Bedard stopping the play. Now back to Kosar. Kosar right over into the neutral of Wayne. Shot stopped by Jones won't be enough to get things done. Officials are getting ready to get set here on ice. They still have a 2 1 lead for the Kraken. Luker wins it. McNabb. Oh, what a diving play, but the penalty is called. Ah, uh, it's too late. You know what they don't say? You can't get the tripping call if you want to try to stop the player in the defense. Oh man, getting a little bit excited here, but that's your tripping call. That's Everly in the penalty box. Well, his head coach would have been able to be calling for him, but Everly was doing it on a blocked shot. But he caught him, caught him red high, eyed, and he went tripping over on the players. So it looks like they're going to get that tied up if they want to get it done. Now ready for the face-off. It's a power play for the Knights. Larson to Olegsek. We'll clear it out to the Vegas zone. Here's Career. Carlson into the wing. Moving around in that. And stopped by Jones. Carlson. Wenberg will try to keep it out. Now here's Fido with the puck. Now over to Carlson. Carlson gets bumped up. Now Fido right over to Ed Cole. Wenberg recovering and he's rebounding the puck. Tanev around the man. Oh, hold on here. No shorthanded goal for the Kraken. Uh, very close to say if they're going to get it, you know, they would lose a man advantage and they would have a shorthanded goal. Donato wins the face off. Here's Carlson and on the other way with 50 seconds to go. Done with the puck. Back to Borchett. Flings it up in the air. Now into the offense neutral zone. Behind the net is Eichel. Cassell with the puck. Trying to move it from inside. Trying to tie the game. Shot. Stopped by Jones with the save. 14 seconds left for that power play for the Vegas Knights. Only 425 remaining in the second period. Now they're ready to do this one again. Renato wins it. He's almost ready to go. Jordan Emberley ready to go out. Marginsaw bought the shot. Now we'll end the power play here for the Vegas Golden Knights. That's 0-2 advantage for the Vegas Golden Knights. Has not scored yet in each period. Donato with the puck. Coming right towards the wing, inside, and out of here. Done. Passes to Donato. Coming in with a rebound to Smith. Donato with the puck. Pass to Courtney. Locked away. What a play by Martinsoff. Towing in. Time released by Quick. Well, really saving it off. They really are going for another bigger attack. They're just getting it over and under. Now they're ready for the faceoff. The score's still 2-1. Ever Eichel wins the faceoff. McNabb to Fedor. Over to Marchitzel. 
Face it for the wall. Wow. What a clashing sea monster to bring the night even up towards the board. They're really saying sea monsters are very not powerful creatures. They never notice what they could do, but because of cracking, they really say it's going to be a hard one to defend your run. Mark yourself, block the shot. Sochi kicks it away. Nobody on here as Everly has it recovered. Elevating the progress is Everly. Lost the puck. Theodore has it away right over to Marchitol. Pass to Eichel. Eichel right towards the wing. With the shot. Stopped by Jones. Another big save. Now Theodore has the puck. Rolls to Barbashad. Barbashad got a little carried out. And we're down to a minute left to play in the second period. Here's Eichel with the puck back to Amedio. In a wing, Amedio. McCann's got it now, right towards the Kraken territory to the Knights territory. Back to Beneers. Martinez scoops the puck, now finds it over again to Amedio. Five seconds left to play. Try to tie the run, smooth! Shot too wide! That's the end of the second period. And now they're on the board. They're calling for Heat Seeker, Shea Fedor. We'll get the third quarter when we come back after the break. We're ready to go. Let's do it. Are you ready for the third period? It's about that time. Let's do it. And we are all set for the final period in game seven for the Knights and Kraken. This must be the hard matchup that everyone was facing. Let's have your statistics here for the second period. With that goal for a seat seeker for Shea Fyodor, it really turned out one of the bestest. How did he really got their attention? And he made that one a deflect it and go right towards the goal. Well, it does happen now because they were saying that Shea Fyodor was putting up a rocket launch they really are doing a much better on this uh, play in this offense game. I gotta say that this was a very tough one to try to like keep it inbounding for the right si timing. Well, now you know it because they were really onto an epic run. The better of this team can just say that Shea Fedor is a power rocket machine. I don't know what you could call him for a Shea Fedor, but if he keeps on continuing his journey, he can continue for each run in a career path. Richangelo has the puck now right over to Eichel. Now on the offensive side, Eichel recovers. Barbashev, shot, stopped by Jones. 18.05 left to go in the third period. It's still a 2-1 lead. Now they're ready to put it up in the face-off zone. Now Martin does. Petrangelo locked away. Schwartz has it right. Go across to the neutral zone, the offense zone. Try to put it around it. Stop again by Quick. Wolfstrad has it good covered up. Weinberg shot goes too wide off the wall. The Wolfstrad stopped by Quick. We'll get the bucket ready for 17 22 to go in the third period in game seven. Now they're ready to do one again. Now here's Martinez with the puck. Try to get the pass to Pachangelo. Over to Amadio. Amadio with the puck right in the way. Pass to Smith. Shot stopped by Jones. Jones keeps the puck here with only under 17 minutes to go in that third period. Now both teams are ready to take the gliding into the center of the ice. Here's Martinez. Oh, what a hit save by the pad. Work shot. Now we'll carry out towards the offense zone for the Vegas. Gets bumped up by the wall. Petrangelo right over into the offense zone, right to find him out, Amidio. 
Back pass to Smith. Smith towards the corner. Getting a little bit bumped up here as Smith recovers. Had a short one-timer stop made by Jones. Oh, really in close tightness. They really don't have much to say what they're going to do. They just got to, like, keep on scoring it. They really got a lot of shots to try to block it out of here. Now here's Larson with the puck. Pass to Tobin. In. Tobin in towards the wing. In the center. Tobin in. McNabb has the puck down to Stephenson. Over to Carrier. Carrier right over into the wing. That's the bucket off the skate. Off the stick, I should bet. He's seeker of Peter. Back to Carrier. Stephenson has the puck. Gets bumped down. Done. Recovers the puck here for the offense zone. We'll pass to Gordy. Gordy passes broken up. McNabb right across here into the Kraken territory. Behind the backhand, Stephenson. Shot! Rebound! Nowhere to go in. Try to play it around the deck. Done with the puck. Now they're giving the puck right over to McCann. McCann towards the middle. Lost the puck. McCann has it back. Over to Beneers. And he scores! Beneers has his second goal in the playoffs. They're getting a lot of attacker on. I think when the communication comes in there. This is a better play here when Dunn comes in to try to give it off to Veneers. That's how they can. When they are looking for an offense for Dunn to McCann, then he gives it off here to Veneers. That's a pass play that they're ever facing it along the offense of the score. This was, was a tough, tremendous night as they were looking to say, we've got it all. This is what the team needs. I've got it all on my own. Keep an eye on the run. We have again to be careful. Veneers with the puck. Cheaper shot chop blocked. Make us back to work. Michael Rondam and Jones stop. Jones will cover it up with just only 12.58 to go. Coming up later tonight, we will have the next game. Mifo will be standing by here at Crypto.com Arena as we got the Kings and the Oilers back again in, in LA. As right now, they're tied up right now, but the Oilers have been already out there with a win. The last game of the playoffs was turning out to be a stoppable to make that play inbounding. Yeah, and easier to say, when, when the Oilers get it done, they, they really are just getting it over it. When we're rebounding, it's very not tough to clear out what do we have now. They have nobody else to try to fix it along the deck. They've got too much to carry on, and they just didn't really have that right timing to get it done. I don't know what's the figure on the key, but they are really pushing it up. They've done a lot of MS so far, but we want to see them keep it clear. Barbershop with the puck. Valley for the loose puck. Kick the puck to Eichel. Eichel the potential out. Club saved by Jones. Caught it right away. We'll hold the puck with 11 16 to go in the third period. Here's the next faceoff coming in. The score for Seattle Kraken is a 3 1 lead. And Osaya casts the puck. Stopping the running mound. Osaya kicks the puck. Amedio with the puck. Now going into the offensive side of Smith. Blocked away. Sprint will have it over into the offensive territory in the Hague. White Cloud. Sprint sticks it away. What a great save me by Quick. Here's Tanev. Tanev looking for the back end. Quick save. You're just saying that this one keeps on running into him that he wants to give it up. Cranky wins the face off. 
White Cloud with the puck now rolling into the Vegas to the Kraken territory. Smudge! Oh, what a stop made! Smith with the puck in the corner. Goes down and end though. Oh, side to Sponge. 9.30 left to play in the third. There's Tiki. Quick save made. And now we'll hold the puck with 9.17 to go in the third. We've passed the midway period in the mark. Seattle Kraken is one of the best teams and they will be advancing to the second round if they win against the Knights. They're very really well. We all can say now that the Kraken welcome to the second round because we never seen them coming in because the first annual was too short. It was an ugly start, but the second annual for the season, they're ready to do this. Here's Schultz with the puck. Pass along to Donato. Oh, Donato went down! And Stephenson can't get it to go. Now here's Tobinen. 8-10 to go. Gets blocked up. Roll again to Hague. And you lost the puck and Donato has it. Tobinen shot stopped by Quick. Hague right over it again. The offense keeps it going. Over the mound! And stopped by Jones. Oh, puck escapes from the Kraken zone and the Vegas zone. They're going to reset it for the top. Easy to say, the runaway puck is not really an option. Because this doesn't happen to be one of the successful in this game. And it cannot be reducing enough speed to try to keep it over with the, with the under attackers. Bad save by Jones! What a stop by the poke check! Now he's Donato. Gordy with the puck. Gordy trying to swing it over again in the way. And glove save by Quick. Quick will hold the puck here with only 6.19 to go in the third. They're saying they're getting tired. But it looks like it may be really tough than they all called for. Here's Shea Peter. He has test two steady by. Shea Peter got a great heat seeker to try to pull a rocket launch here with the goal. This was an excellent run. The play to this advantage has been turned out to be a one killer. This really has to be out there with so many responses. And with all that being said, that's, that with this one, Shea Peter keeps it right into that one. But it may not be enough for them, but we all say a wonderful season. Turned out to be one of a successful for Shea Peter to keep it on the deck. I'll be watching him for the next part of the game. Back to you. Eichel shot blocked. And a delay penalty call. This will be on Seattle. The third time in a row for interference. Oh boy, that Vince done. He is not very really happy. And also, of course, the head coach is not very happy as well. Because that was too enough to try to pick up a stick lift. But he was tripping him over of what he did. Now the power play is on for the Golden Knights. As if only 5.05 left to go in the third period. Carlson wins it. Cassell and Pachangelo. March itself over and around it. Went off the side of its net. Pachangelo over to Cassell. Spins it around. Tanev recovers the puck. Fire it up. Vegas are back in a transition to Carlson. In the wing, Carlson. Looking for a cut move. And oh, what a play by Jones. That went right towards the border wall. And goes out of here. They're able to say. Because you know, Jones is never really going to stop saying. That I have a lot of more responses. I am the demon. Richard low. Oh no, he didn't get enough room. Carrier. Carlson! Stop again by by Jones. Carrier to Cassell. Stop again by Jones. Carrier shot! Blocked again! Clear the puck right towards the wall. March it so over to get to Smith. Dunn's ready to go out of the penalty box. Power plays over for the Vegas Golden Knights. Unable to do it another one for the third time. Emilio! Shot stopped by Jones. 
Yeah, great job for the defense. And, and you know, this wasn't the only way that they were keeping it going. The better releases, they just kind of need to keep that one out of here. The better of a line just really can't stay in the tricks because it really has started to stay out of the line. You know, nobody may not have her happen because this really keeps on going and they have a hard time to try to like keep it out of the net. They're very tough, but can't just try to stay out of here because they're really well into a great offense to try to keep them out. Retrangelo with the puck. They're nearing down over to get to Eichel. Eichel to Amedio. Amedio, two time went bump down. Veneers with the puck. Theodore has it to Stephenson. We're down to the final minute, and right now the man advantage is on. Who steps in with the puck down to Marchetzel? Try to swing it across. Everly with the puck. Gets bumped up in the corner. Marchetzel to Eichel. No penalty call. McCann. Over to Borchen. And with the shot, Everly ends the game. Seattle Kraken moving on to the second round for the first time on EA Sports. Well, they say Jordan Everly really needs to give this one a worth credit. Kraken, welcome to the second round. Wemberg wins the faceoff. Larson has it over again to Schwartz. Schwartz to Borstadt, stop by Quick. Three seconds left to play in the third period. The time is winding down. Last play of the period, Kraken has been a, one of the biggest team in a hit, ready to advance for the first time ever. And a win, who's done? Blocked again, and stopped by Quick. Now here's Wimberg. Shot stopped again by Quick. Richangelo, over to Marchesol. Marchesol with the puck. Finds Barbershop and stop by Jones. And that will be it. The Knights are done. Yep, so long for now, there, Knight. We are out of here. Barbershop is in the penalty box. And with that being said, it's it. That goes to the end of the Golden Knights with the run. Kraken on the power play may not be able to do it in time as the time is winding down. Thank you, has the puck. Pass to Martinez. Luger, top shot, and that's it. Seattle Kraken wins the series in game seven. Four to one's your final score. It has been one of the bestest games since Jones was the best goaltender to smash out the Golden Knights for an upsetting run. The wild card team heading on to the next round. So as we're being said, we hope everybody's enjoying watching the first game of tonight in the Pacific of the Coast. Kraken moving on to take on against the winning team against the Kings or the Oilers. OJ along with Paintbrush and Test Tube and Center Rice. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night. All right, OJ, thank you so much. Your final score, Kraken. Moving on to the second round to face against the winning team. Time for three star players in the game. Your third star for the Kraken goes to Jared McCann with his three assists and two hits. Great pass here and great goal shot. Your second star goes out to all time favorite, Matty Beneers, with two goals in the game. He did turn out one of his best, biggest games that he has ever been doing it. That's what they all call for, Beneers shot. And your first star goes to Jones. Well done with all three cracking of the game to crack out the Knights. And the Sea Monsters definitely say, yeah, Sea, because Seattle means Sea Monsters. That's what they always are, living by the sea. Anyway, here's how they did with the total, total, total statistic runs for the first round of the Kraken and the Knights. 57 shots on goal for Knights, 47 for Seattle. 24 hits for Seattle, 552 for Seattle, 640 for Vegas Golden Knights. 
84 percentage, and 95 percentage for the Vegas Golden Knights in Seattle. 20, 26 faceoff wins for Seattle and 22 fa Vegas faceoff wins. Six minutes for the Seattle for the penalty kill, and two minutes for the penalty kill for the Vegas Golden Knights. That ended up with no power play goals, and the power play minutes was the end. So that's it. Vegas Knights will be returned. Will return and will reunite again for the next season. And now, with the next game coming up soon, we got the Kings and the Oilers. Their team is going to be a tough one to find out who will get to the next round to face against Seattle Kraken. Will it be the Kings of LA or will it be the Edmonton Oilers of the Canadian team? We'll find out after this game's over, then we will move on to the second round. Thanks for watching, folks, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. We'll have tons of more post-game shows coming up for the next part of a couple days this game. Thanks for joining us, and peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Good night with a, with a shocking run of the most fabulous town of Las Vegas, along with the Seattle Sea Destruction of the Monsters. Until we meet again. Bye-bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.